79. Morning. 
and uh, and uh, they are planning to go to the mission field. So uh, God has provided both, and uh, and I, I just thank God for that. So uh, it's a privilege. So uh, Lord, amen. 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 All right. Anybody else with any announcements? Praises this morning.
actually sorry, I ran off stage. <laughs> We're going to have a short news video presentation here. Happy anniversary. This is what I'm saying. We see you over there at Midbury Baptist Church and bring you to come out here and see us on your next Sorry. Mission. Is that enough? <laughs>
It's been a blessing to have them with their strength that God has given them to keep on going in this church, in the church that we've been before with them with them as well. His family as well, the strength and the guidance we showed them as well. So we thank you for that. So let's now let's stand and we'll sing to him also. Turn to him number 579 as we continue on this morning. 579, we are your church.
come to use the scripture reading this morning. that we ever see from that and the children's Sunday school and dear God and now I pray for the filling of your spirit just to preach that which you laid on my heart this morning pray you fill my dear wife with your spirit as she relates the message and sign and dear God also to help those in the nursery Father might, might each one be drawn closer to you uh, today Father if someone today would be, need to be born again trust you to see become a Christian, I pray that today that they will take care of that. And Father, that you work in our midst and glorify your name and that your Son will be lifted up. And so Father, we thank you for enabling us, each one, Father, to be faithful. And, uh, and our faithfulness pales in the light of what you have done for us. And so we worship your holy name and we ask these things in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. Amen. We have a special
Peter said, we cast all our care upon him for he cares for you. And Paul made that promise that my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He made that promise to the church at Philippi. And that was right after acknowledging, acknowledging how that they had been faithful in giving to him as a missionary. They've been faithful as a church in giving to missionaries. And I think that's one of the reasons why God has provided for our church. Because He's enabled us to be faithful in giving to missionaries. Uh, and uh, we have the aid of the board there. And uh, if, you know, if the Lord keeps opening doors for Matt and Rebecca and the family here in a few years, maybe we'll be able to just take them off there too. Wouldn't that be great? Amen. Amen. That'd be wonderful. And I'm thankful for the light of God's Word and for the life that God's Word gives. I think as long as we are willing to go forth and we are willing to send them forth, missionaries, we're going to see God's blessing. We're going to see God provide. And, uh, and so that would be uh, our emphasis uh, even, even, even today in our 20th anniversary. We are thankful. But in this book of Acts, we read about that church there in the first few uh, verses of Acts chapter 13. If you know your Bible, you know that uh, the first church was started in Jerusalem there uh, in the temple and uh, coming together on the day of Pentecost. And, and uh, they began to worship there, the 12, uh, the 11 apostles and uh, others who began to meet there. Uh, but they, uh, they failed to obey uh, quickly God's command. He had told them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And what did they do? They kind of hung out there at Jerusalem, remember? Nobody left. And what did God do? God allowed persecution to come. And the Bible says they were scattered uh, when Stephen was persecuted. The Bible says they that were scattered about the persecution of Stephen went everywhere preaching the gospel. And eventually a church was started in Antioch. That 